What is good, YouTube? Yeah, I'm currently riding my bike to work. And uh, I like my bike. I do, I do. This is a very nice three speed. Actually, even though it says three speed right here, it'd be a four speed. Yeah, because I got the speed of my feet. <laughs> uh. No, but um, it's a three speed. And uh, it's a great way to get around town, you know. It's a lot cheaper than uh, cars. Got these nice fat tires, you know. I got the A-pingers, yeah. It is right now currently a cool 69 degrees outside. <laughs> 69 degrees. <laughs> Teacher asked Little Johnny what well, comes after 69. Little Johnny said, mouthwash. Teacher said, go to the principal's office. <laughs> uh, that joke's old. Uh, well, I want to talk to you about a couple of things here. couple of things involving relationships and shit. Yeah. Well, one thing I want to talk to you about. Slow down here real quick. Oh. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> That's one thing about riding a bike though, you gotta be careful, watch out for pedestrians and stuff like that. Yeah, the two things I want to talk to you about in regards to dating and relationships. Goddamn tree branches. Hey. Now, when your friends are trying to set you up with a girl, that's always really nice. You know, it's a nice gesture, at least. But... Two things. One, don't be afraid to have some standards. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? If it's going to make you unhappy in any way, shape, or form, then why go out with that person? You know? Straight up. Because most of the time when, if your friends are trying to set you up with a girl, or, you know, or what have you, you know, wouldn't it help, and I'm being sincere here, wouldn't it help to know what kind of girl you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? Because there ain't nothing more awkward than, um, you know, your friends trying to set you up with somebody you're not attracted to, you know. 
especially if the person that they're trying to set you up with, you know, has their hopes up and shit. I mean, I'm not that picky, but you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I do have standards. And you really can't judge me for having standards because everybody has standards. Trust and belief. Uh, Both sexes have standards when it comes to dating. This, uh, this, uh, notion here, yeah, well, I'll give you a hypothetical here. Let's say you have an Asian man that only dates Asian women. Now, if he likes to be with his own kind, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's nothing wrong with that, YouTube. Yeah, ape hangers. Checking ashtrays, man. I want a cigarette. <laughs> if, I, if I can see a happy that's worth smoking, then I'll definitely. <laughs> but yeah, don't be afraid. Okay, don't be afraid to have standards when it comes to love and relationships, YouTube. You know, if they'll make you unhappy in the long run, then don't date them. It's not worth your time. Man, you got an extra cigarette by chance? Awesome, this thanks, man. Sweet. Good morning, Nikki. 
bathroom fix awesomeness. Oh, -ho. I could have swore I smelled pot out here for a second. Maybe I'm just imagining things. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Holy crap, dude. I smell pot outside. And it's not from me this time. Mm, someone's smoking it. <laughs> so someone's... Uh, that's what I like about being a smoker, man. Is that we're fucking united. Okay? If you're out of cigarettes and you see a fellow cigarette smoker and you'd be like, hey man, you got an extra one of those? And they hook you up with a cigarette, like, always greatly appreciated, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, you two. Is, you know what I'm saying? If someone gives you a cigarette when you're out, you return the favor to somebody else. That's kind of the uh, the universal law of cigarette smokers, man. And people think smoking is gross. There are certainly way worse things for you than smoking. And there are certainly a lot grosser things out there. But... Um, The fucking zombie apocalypse hits. If the zombie apocalypse hits, people won't be saying you smokers are gross now because. Well, think about this for a second. You need a lighter to start a fire, but you ain't got one. Every smoker you know has got a lighter plus a spare. Think about that for a second. Mm. Oh, that's good. But yeah, YouTube, if your friends are gonna set you up with a girl or any, anybody that you, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't matter what sex you are or what sex you're into. If your friends are gonna set you up with somebody, then they need to know what you're into first. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And sometimes you might have to settle, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to dating standards, you shouldn't have to settle too much, you know what I'm saying? I like this feature on my phone where I could just record a video and prior to hitting the record button I push the little camera icon on my phone and I can see myself on video just by holding it like, like a regular cell phone. I don't have to use the camera lens to film a video. I'm doing a video like this where it's just on me, you know what I'm saying?
here's the thing, YouTube. If uh, somebody asks you out, and if they're nice about it, but if you're not into that person, then then what's it gonna hurt if you let them down gently, you know? Like, getting rejected sucks. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But... If a person's being nice about asking you out, then fucking... Return the favor if you're gonna let them down, you know? Don't be a dick about it. I can get to the other side of town pretty quickly on this bike. And a lot of that depends on traffic. And, um... Oh, look at this. Look at this, YouTube. We have a deer crossing the road. YouTube moments like this. Oh, oh, oh shit. Hold on, let's see if I can get up to it real quickly. Hi there. How you doing? Nice of you to, hey, smile for the camera, baby. Thank you for being on my YouTube video. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, there's two of them right there. Look at that. Huh, how about that? Like straight up, this thing was crossing, this thing was crossing the street. And I got it on camera. Fucking epic. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them right there. One of them might be a doe, and the other one most definitely is a buck. I'm not sure which, but yeah. You saw the one right there. And, uh, yep. There's two of them over here. I don't know if you can see the other one, but yeah. Huh. That's cool. Well, I want to leave you two alone, okay? So I want to leave you two alone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I want to thank you guys and gals out there, right there, yeah. I want to thank you two for being on my YouTube video. Huh, that's cool. Right on, right on. <laughs> That was cool, YouTube. Yeah. Riding my bike to work and some random ass deer looking motherfucker crosses the road. <laughs> uh. You get that from time to time. I seen that motherfucker trying to cross the street. Yeah. I seen that motherfucker trying to con. I seen that motherfucker trying to cross the street. 
all the cars in front of it were being, or not in front of it, la. Huh. All the cars behind it, all the cars behind it were being super patient, waiting for it to cross. So, you know, that's a good thing drivers were paying attention. Yeah. Ooh. Riding uphill right now. But yeah, riding bike around town when the weather gets nice like it is right now, it's good exercise. I'm glad I was able to catch those animals on camera for y'all. Stuff like that makes my YouTube videos worth watching. Yeah. I may be goth, okay, YouTube, I may be goth, YouTube, but I'm very professional when it comes to my job. I try to make for damn sure I'm always on time. You know, that's one of the things I take pride in is the fact that I'm so punctual with my time. You know, I know when I, know when I gotta be to work. But yeah, I straight up found a couple of halfies in the ashtray. And I sterilized the filter with my lighter on both of them. And it's like, if you're going to throw them away anyway, why waste them? Seriously.
Yeah. I think I'll smoke this camel first. Another thing, YouTube. Yeah. Have you ever been friends with a girl that you had a crush on, but you didn't want to ruin the friendship, so you kept your mouth shut about your feelings? Yeah. Yeah, been there, done that. But trust and believe, YouTube, the, um, the law of attraction has to work on both parties. Otherwise, it ain't happening. But yeah, the law of attraction, it has to work with both people participating. Otherwise, it ain't going to happen. Jeremy and um, he just got his hookah in and he invited me over to test out his hookah and that thing smokes like a dream
But yeah, you'll get that occasionally. You'll get the uh, elk or the deer crossing the road and shit. One more hill. Yeah. Might take me a minute to get up this hill, but I'll make it up there one way or another. This bike's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna grab me some Coca Cola when I get to work. I'm kind of thirsty. <laughs> get my caffeine on. Metal to the metal. Made it to the top of the hill like a boss. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And I know YouTube, the law of attraction can suck sometimes. You know, it's unfortunate, but it does exist. Waiting for that sign to turn. I'm definitely thinking about saving up for a sex doll, though. That's $2,675 I don't have right now. But um, yeah, it beats being lonely, and it probably would help with my confidence with women a bit. Now, despite being a very attractive young goth like I am. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, that is sweet. American muscle, that's where it's at. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I don't want to get hit, YouTube. Nope. I'm not the person you want to knock off the bike either. Not trying to talk tough shit, but 
Motherfucker knocks me off my bike and I get run over by a car. Trust and believe none of my bones are broken. I'm pulling the driver out of the car and beating their ass and throwing them through the fucking windshield. I'm not the person you want to knock off this bike. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't want to kick no one's ass if I can avoid it. So, you know, watch where I'm driving my bike and I won't get hit. Oh, yeah. That American must have sound noise. Yeah, I found a website on the interwebs that I would buy my sex doll from if I had the money. And uh, it beats being lonely, dude. Yeah. Oh, I might start saving up for it. It might take me a while, but yeah, freaking... Just start putting money in my bank account, and then when I have the money for it, transfer that money to my PayPal. And this is my this is my problem, YouTube. Wyoming is a cool state to live in. You know, it's got its ups and downs, but the male to female ratio. There's more males than there are females in this state. Yeah. And uh, I don't want kids, you know what I'm saying? But I like getting pussy, and that's just that's, that's kind of a, a contradiction, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can be smart when you're getting pussy and avoid getting kids and shit like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. All right, let's cross this mother trucking street. Oh yeah, I got Pizza Hut in the background right there. Oh yeah. I think next time I order Pizza Hut, I know exactly what I want to get. Get me a large meat lover's with stuffed crust, extra cheese, bacon, jalapenos, and anchovies. Oh. I probably get extra anchovies too because anchovies are the shit. If you don't like anchovies on your pizza YouTube, then don't eat them. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, great. There's a construction sign. <coughs> right there. Right in the middle of the sidewalk. <coughs> so I'm gonna, yeah, squeak over to the side here. But, yeah. You know what I could do is just start saving up for my sex doll and then freaking, huh. And the time it takes me to get the money for it, you know, if I haven't had, if I hadn't gotten a girlfriend by then, you know. There's no shame in, in admitting you want something to love and cuddle with, you know what I'm saying? Or someone, you know. But a hunk of silicone is a lot less complicated than a real woman, I can tell you that much right now. Yeah. Look at that, beautiful. That is cherry. 
think that's a 56 or 55 wagon. That's nice. Yeah, I drive it. That is sick, yo. They don't make cars like they used to. I mean, if my fans wanted to donate money to my PayPal, they could, but I'm not gonna ask them to do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, anyway, this is um, King Cobra JFS with another video, and um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.